I'm going to try out this Rust-Oleum peel coat. It's similar to Plasti Dip, just different brand. Um, has similar instructions to the Plasti Dip. Remove paint and rust. If there's crap falling off, you know, clean up all that garbage. This tank's already been prepped. I'm not going to go through any of that stuff again. If you've seen my Plasti Dip fail video, this is kind of a redo, but with a different brand, a uh, different color. I like this color. It's a solid color. Uh, the Plasti Dip I used was a transparent color, so it's a little bit different. It's not apples to apples. It's still, um, it's still a test though to see how this stuff works. I did do some research, uh, and I had issues with the Plasti Dip with orange peel. Um, I found that you should warm the can up in hot water. I didn't do that. I didn't know that. So it was about 70 degrees in here at the time, and that could have everything to do with my results. It's about 90 degrees in here now in my little makeshift paint booth, and uh, about to get underway. Okay, I check the can, do a test spray. Coat. Go around the edges. I'm going to work my way up. I'm going to flip this around. It seems like it's spraying better than the Plasti Dip was, as far as animization. It's not really uh, producing much texture. Uh, however, the pattern size, right here I'll show you, is, is really small. It's like a pencil, you know, compared to the Plasti Dip had a much bigger pattern, which is nice for reducing streaks. I'm going to let that flash and put the next coat on. Okay, I'm going to apply the second coat. It says uh, wait for it to turn to a matte finish like it is here, or five minutes between coats. Um, sorry if you can't hear me, i got my fan running so I don't die in here. I'm just going to throw the second coat on real quick. This is a heavier coat. I'm going to go with a medium wet coat. I don't know if you can tell, but the texture's already a lot better. There's a little bit there, but it's not bad. That Plasti Dip was really bad with the texture. So far, this stuff looks like it's laying down pretty good. However, it does seem like it wants to run a lot easier than the Plasti Dip did. Time for the third coat. Another pretty wet coat I'm going with.
¿no? Let that sit and apply fourth and probably last coat. Okay, I'm going to put on the final coat. This coat I'm going to put on at a 45 degree angle from the other ones. That way it'll get rid of any stripes, uh, hopefully. Another nice wet coat. I'm not going to put the the gloss on top of it. The gloss I get from this final coat is the gloss I get. So, but I'm okay with that. I'm not worried about this area here. I'm gonna put another coating on top of this right here so it's more resistant to gas spillage. So I'm just gonna avoid this area. No sense in wasting the coating. Pretty even coating. Minimal texture. This, this texture was in the tank material before. I didn't sand that out. I didn't have time. So that has nothing to do with the coating, but so far it looks pretty good. I'm going to let it sit overnight and see what it looks like in the morning. It's the next morning. Birds are chirping, everybody's happy. This thing's looking pretty good. It's a, uh, it's got nice little metallics. Let's see if I can get this to focus, there we go. Metallics turned out to um, look pretty decent. So I say it's a win, I really like the color. It is a little transparent. You can still see the Big Bear logo on there, where the sticker used to be. Um, but you could just tell your friends that, that you did ghost graphics or something. So, as far as the Rust-Oleum peel coat, I really like it. This is a really cool color. And I call this one a win.